Hello children, I hope you are all happy and safe. Welcome to this special English hour. Here every day we will learn something new in a fun and interesting way. Are you ready to have fun? Then come, let's begin our day with a dance. Please stand up and join me in a dance. All these animals in the zoo, all day long, what do they do? Walk, talk, study, no, they dance. All these animals in the zoo, how do you think do the snakes dance? Hmm, they wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle and wiggle. All these animals in the zoo. How do you think do the penguins dance? Hmm, they waddle. Waddle, waddle, waddle and waddle. All these animals in the zoo. How do you think do the elephants dance? Hmm, they sway. Sway, sway. Sway and sway. Children, now I would like to ask you a few questions. Let us share our thoughts and ideas. Children, can you try and name a few? Trees around you. We find neem trees, asopalav trees, mango trees, chiku trees around us. Okay, children, do you think trees are useful to us? Yes, definitely. Trees are very useful. Children, can you tell me how are trees useful to us? Trees give us shade. They give us fruits. They give us wood from which we build our houses. Trees don't just help human beings. They also help animals and creatures. Birds make their nest in the tree. Many animals also live on trees. Animals get their fruits from trees. Trees also have a lot of medicinal value. For example, the neem tree. For example, the neem tree has a lot of medicinal value. So children, when trees are so useful to us, we cut them and use them for different purposes. But then if we keep cutting trees and don't grow any, what will happen? There will be a time where we won't have even one tree left. So what should be done? When we cut one tree, we must also grow trees so that the next generation 
the children can also enjoy the fruits of these trees children while learning a language it is very important that we keep learning new words now i would like to share with you a few new words please listen to me carefully and note them down in your notebook we will come across these words in the poem we'll be reading today the first word is apartment 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 the second word is whisper 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 the third word is monk 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 the fourth word is calligraphy 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 the fifth word is disciple 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 children let me repeat the words once again for you apartment whisper monk calligraphy disciple children please look out for these words while we are reading the poem today and try to guess their meaning children today we will be reading a lovely poem on planting a tree if you have a textbook please open to page number 78 and point to the words as i read if you don't have a textbook please see your tv screens and listen to me carefully children please look out for the words we noted earlier children let's read the poem on planting a tree dear little tree that we plant today what will you be when we are old and grey the savings bank of the squirrel and mouse for robin and wren an apartment house the dressing room of the butterfly's ball the locus and Katy did's concert hall the school boy's ladder in happy may and the school girl's tent on a holiday and my leaves shall whisper then merrily a tale of the children who planted me adapted from an arbor day tree children we read a beautiful poem on how trees help birds animals and human beings now let's read a poem on how human beings can also help nature and its creatures today we'll be reading the poem ryokan and the starfish if you have a textbook please open to page number 88 and point to the words as i read if you don't have a textbook please listen to me carefully and see your tv screens also look out for the new words we noted earlier and try to guess their meaning children let's read this poem now ryokan and the 
starfish. Ryokan was a monk who lived in Japan. He was a well known teacher and a poet and a calligrapher. One day he was walking on the beach and he saw that hundreds of starfish had been washed ashore in a storm. The storm had blown over and the starfish were dying in the hot sun. Ryokan began to pick up the starfish one by one. He threw them back in the sea. What's the use? said his disciple who was watching Rokan. There are hundreds of fish dying. Throwing back a few of them will not make any difference. Rokan picked up another fish. It will make a difference to this little fish, said Rokan, throwing the fish back into the sea. Children, who is Rokan? Rokan was a monk. Who is a monk? A monk is a person who has dedicated his life to God. Rokan was a monk from Japan. He was a well known teacher and a poet and a calligrapher. A calligrapher is a person who knows the art of fine handwriting. One day, Rokan was walking on the beach. He was walking along the seashore. And what did he find there? He found hundreds of starfishes. Do you see these children? These are starfishes. Starfishes are found in water. But that day, Rokan saw hundreds of them lying on the beach. They had been washed ashore in a storm. The storm had blown over and the starfish were dying in the hot sun. The starfishes had been blown ashore by a storm. They were all lying on the sand. The sun was hot and because of the heat, the starfishes were dying. What did Rokan do? Rokan began picking up the starfishes and throwing them back into the sea. Because of this, the starfishes that would be weak would revive and continue to live. Otherwise, they would die in the hot sun. Rokan's disciple, his follower, asked him, What's the use of throwing back a few of the starfishes when hundreds of them are lying on the sand and dying? Rokan said, Whatever difference we can make, we must, even if it is for a few starfishes, at least they would survive and live. Rokan continued throwing the fishes back into the sea.
So children, here we see that Rokan is sensitive, sensible and wants to help the little starfishes. He does not think whether the task is too big or too small. He wants to help the starfishes and he knows that whatever little help is given is important. Children, let's do an activity now. In this activity, we will be seeing two columns on our screen. In one column, we will have the names of animals, creatures and birds. In the other column, we will see what the tree is to all these animals and creatures. We need to match how the tree serves these animals and creatures. To some animals, the tree is an apartment, while to others, it's a savings bank. You need to match the creature with the service that the tree gives. This is based on the poem we just read. Would you like to give this a try? Then come, let's begin. Children, come, let's have a look at the answers. For the squirrel and the mouse, the tree is a savings bank as they save all their nuts and fruits in the tree. For the robin and the wren, the tree is their apartment, it's their house. For the butterflies, the tree is their dressing room. For the schoolboy, the tree is his ladder. For the schoolgirl, the tree is her tent. Children, I hope you liked this activity. Children, now let's learn how we can make a shower using a simple tin can. Please open to page number 73. Young Scientist A fountain at your fingertip. What you need? Plastic bottle? Balloon, pieces of stiff plastic tubes. You may use pieces of straws or used refills. Scissors, glue or adhesive tape, etc. What you do? Make a small hole in the lid of the bottle and insert a small plastic tube or straw through the hole. Secure the tube with the help of glue or adhesive tape. Make a small hole in the side of the bottle near its bottom. Insert another piece of straw or tube in the hole and secure it 
with the help of glue or adhesive tape. Now, place a balloon in the bottle and fit its mouth on the rim of the bottle as shown. Now, suck through the hole in the side of the bottle. What do you see? Yes, the balloon gets inflated inside the bottle. Now, cover the hole in the side with a finger and pour water into the balloon. Put the lid with the straw on the bottle and screw it on tight. Children, here we see the bottle, the balloon, the straw at the lower end and the straw on the cap. You need to suck air out from this straw and once the balloon inflates, you need to go on to the next step. That is, put your finger to block air from entering through this straw. Then put water in the balloon. Now remove your finger from the side hole. What do you see? A fountain leaping out of the straw in the lid. Note how long your fountain lasts. A shower at your fingertip. What you need? A can with a wide base and a tight lid, a nail, a hammer. This is the can with a wide base and a tight lid, a nail and a hammer. What you do? Make a hole in the base of the can using the nail and the hammer. Take care not to hurt your fingers. Where do you need to make holes? At the base of the can. Using what? A nail and hammer. Make a number of tiny holes in the lid of the can as shown. See that your holes are evenly spaced as in a sieve. Now cover the hole in the base with your finger and fill the can with water. Put the lid with the holes on the can. Invert the can, still holding the finger on the hole. Hold the can over a plant and remove your finger from the hole. What do you see? The plant gets a shower. Now put your finger on the hole again. What happens? 
the shower stops use this homemade watering can to water tiny plants can you think of any variations or modifications or improvements in these toy fountains try them out and write your observations you know that there is air all around us though we cannot see it or feel it or smell it all the time in both these fountains it is this invisible air that pushes the water the balloon you will learn more about this when you study science in higher classes children i hope you all enjoyed today's session i would now request you all to please make some time and think of what are the items that are spare at home and how you can reuse or recycle them children till we meet next time please take care bye bye and stay safe